Port Phillip Eco Centre, our trained environmental educators engage students in freshwater investigations. Our programs include excursions, Tomorrow's Leaders for Sustainability, STEM, STEAM and Citizen Science. Students discover how to look for and identify water bugs, also known as macroinvertebrates. They learn how water bugs are indicator species for the health of our local waterways. The resources we use at the Eco Centre have been developed by Melbourne Water as part of their fantastic Water Watch program, which has engaged local communities since 1993 in monitoring river health. For full information on Water Watch, their training, resources and program, please visit their website. St Kilda Botanical Gardens, Elster Creek and the wetlands in Elstonwick Park are the local water bodies where we have students actively look for water bugs. All of these water bodies are highly urbanised with lots of different land uses from residential to industrial. Let's look at some of the common water bugs or macroinvertebrates that we might find. Damselfly nymphs are slender with a long tail that is tipped with three fan-like gills. Their hinged jaw is like a long hinged arm that they keep folded under their head. It shoots out, grabs their next meal and draws it back to their mouth. The damselfly is an example of an insect that spends only part of its life cycle in the water. The adult damselfly lays eggs on water plants. The nymph hatches and lives in the water where they eat other invertebrates. The nymph climbs out of the water to complete the final molt into the adult form. The adult flies away to lay more eggs. Damselfly nymphs are tolerant of pollution in the water. The non-biting midge larva is also known as a blood worm, but it's not really a worm. It's the larva of a non-biting midge, a flying insect, which looks a bit like a mosquito. They move in water by rapidly coiling and uncoiling their bodies. The non-biting midge larva can come in a variety of colours. However, the red coloured larva contain haemoglobin, which allows them to live in water which is low in oxygen. Bloodworms are tolerant macroinvertebrates. They are food for water beetles, water bugs, fish and frogs. The mosquito is another insect that has an aquatic larval stage and a terrestrial adult stage. We are all familiar with the adult who like to bite. The larvae are called wrigglers because of the way they move. Wrigglers are tolerant species and live in still or stagnant water. They hang upside down from the water surface and suck oxygen from the air through a siphon or snorkel on their tail. Their bodies are covered in bristles. You probably know that leeches suck blood, but did you know they also suck out the juices from worms, snails and midge larvae? Their whole life cycle occurs in the water. They have suckers on each end of their bodies. They can swim, but mostly suck onto something like this water beetle that had six leeches attached to its back. Leeches are very tolerant of pollution. Freshwater snails can be found attached to aquatic plants and rocks in slow flowing and still fresh water. They are very tolerant and use their scraping tongue or radula to feed on plants and algae. One of the most common snails we find is an introduced species. Freshwater snails are food for fish, birds, turtles, frogs and yabbies. As they grow, snails add to their protective shell to make it bigger. If you are lucky, you might find a water boatman. Water boatmen are very tolerant and live amongst vegetation. Their front legs are much shorter than their two other pairs of legs. These bugs capture an air bubble for breathing from the water surface and carry it underneath their body. Although they spend their life in water, they are good flyers and can easily move from one body of fresh water to another. They eat smaller invertebrates or decaying organic matter. Interested in learning more? The Eco Centre's education team offer a range of excursions and incursions suitable for all year levels, from early learning to tertiary.